community uh, for political activists. Uh, whenever there is anything happening, any movements, I want to be there as, uh, and be a voice for liberty. So I'm here at Occupy the Fed because I, uh, I empathize, I sympathize with these people's anger. I'm angry as well. Did I say Occupy the Fed? It's wishful thinking, Freudian right? Freudian slip, yeah, it's wishful thinking. But hopefully that's where, where we'll end up. But Occupy Wall Street, um, these people's anger is justified. Um, and so I'm here because I want to provide a, a different perspective, talk to people, and uh, and let them, and maybe direct them their anger, you know, where I think it should be directed, which is government involvement, the Federal Reserve, and things like that. And maybe offer some different solutions as opposed to, um, uh, you know, taxing the rich and you know some of the common things you get um, from from people who might not be as knowledgeable of, of the economic. Uh, situation um, but definitely have the anger and the energy to fight something you know like if you want to go to companies that receive bailouts and, and take money back from them I would see no problem with that that would make sense but there are plenty of deserving rich who provide services to people and who deserve to keep the, the fruits of their labor so so tell me about some of the conversations that you've had uh, here today uh, some of them I've met some really intelligent people who maybe haven't agreed with me about everything, <laughs> um, but who are willing to go through the you know the lines of reasoning and um, and accept the truth and then try to come up with different solutions and that's been great. By and large, there are people who are very angry um, and and um, want to tax people. They don't really have the answers. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's a little frustrating because there's lots of different ideas around, and um, some of them aren't so great. And you don't want to, you don't really want to be seen as supporting those ideas, and you want to try to talk to them um, because ultimately, what you want, you don't want to, uh, uh, this to turn into m momentum um, toward strengthening, strengthening the state because that's the problem. That's why we're here in the first place because the government has this power. Um, and they use that power to enrich these groups of people. What you want is for these people to recognize that government is a problem and we need to take away the power they have um, to tax money away from us and give it to people. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's been a mixed bag, but I guess that's anywhere you go. I'm just happy that these people are angry. Hopefully it moves in the right direction. Yeah, there are the socialists who believe in a wonderful socialist utopia, the Marxists, they are some... I spoke with someone who said that Mao was a pretty awesome dude, despite the, the millions of deaths. And I said hundreds of thousands, and he goes, no, it's millions. But anyway, you know, it still was a, it was a system that worked, and I guess it's like where... It depends on where you're putting, putting your goalposts and what do you mean by work, right? Um, so, there's Che Guevara signs, I've seen some, you know, socialist uh, Russian signs, so, you know, it's a, it's a broad, but I've seen some libertarian, I saw a sign that said, uh, this treason and the empire's empire lies, and I was like, yes, Ron Paul, there's lots of libertarians too, um, trying to get the message out, so it's a, Well, how are they getting their message out, these uh, libertarians? Signs? Mostly. We don't have any tables yet, so I'm hoping more people will come out um, and, and uh, set up some tables and get up, give up some information. Um, but yeah, mostly I'm just seeing signs with sayings and the Fed, you know, the truth is treason, things like that. And did you see momentum for what's happening here at Occupy Wall Street? Uh, yeah, it's a little scary actually. <laughs> I, I don't want the momentum to come before there's some uh, uh, unified idea of where we're headed because otherwise we're, we're putting all this energy into this thing and it can turn into something very ugly and we have to be careful about that. And that's why we need more people. You know, maybe the Tea Party needs to get out here. You know, they're upset with Wall Street. There's all that energy and maybe they can help to um, moderate what's happening so it's not on this side of more statism. Or, you know, I don't know. The tea Party. Tea Party loves their state also. Well, that, some of them, some of them, but I consider myself part of the original Tea the original Tea Party. <laughs> um, but you know, the Ron Paul movement, and, and most people aren't as status as, uh, as some of the people here who are at
advocating for more and more government involvement. And even in the even in the more like general Tea Party movement, a lot of them are saying the government shouldn't be able to control every aspect of your life. And so they're moving in the right direction, if not as much as you know some of the more libertarian um, uh, adherents would like. Do you know what you want to say? Uh, you know, just more people come out um, because. It may not be the movement that you want it to be, but it could be if you're here. So. Just depends on what voices come out here. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right, well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Do you want to support good people who disobey bad laws? The Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund was created to support the brave men and women who are saying no to aggressive government. With your contribution, you can support civil disobedience and non-cooperation now, while encouraging more in the future. As CD Evolution grows, we hope to provide activists with legal and public relations assistance, as well as delivering timely information on the growing civil disobedience movement. To play your part in the peaceful evolution, visit cdevolution.org. That's cdevolution.org.